Hi everyone, it's Nana Pam. Today I'm reading the book Mother's Day Surprise by Stephen Krensky and illustrated by Kathy Ember. Enjoy the story. Violet was a young snake. She liked sliding and slithering and shedding her skin whenever it got old. In her free time, Violet often played with the other animals. She raced the rabbits. She hung next to the bats. And she fooled around with the chipmunks. But as spring was sprung, Violet noticed a change in the air. The other animals were suddenly very busy, too busy to play. Violet wondered why everyone was in such a hurry. What's the rush? She asked a fox trotting by. Things to do, he said. Violet can see that. What things, she asked, but the fox was already gone. Violet looked around for anyone with a moment to spare. What's going on? She asked a skunk digging in the dirt. We're getting ready for Mother's Day, he explained. Oh, ready, said Violet. The skunk laughed. You can't start too soon. It takes time to make the perfect gift. Violet had to admit that was true. But what kind of gift would be perfect for her mother? Violet watched a squirrel sorting through a pile of acorns. He was very picky about it. Why are you being so fussy? Violet asked. They're for my mother, said the squirrel. She likes them crunchy. Next, Violet saw a bear crushing some honeycombs. That looks like sticky work, said Violet. The bear agreed, but I have to do it right. My mother likes things just so. Then Violet saw a beaver chomping on a fallen tree trunk. What are you doing, Violet asked. Shh, said the beaver. Don't disturb the artist at work. Sorry, said Violet. I can't afford to make any mistakes, the beaver went on. When I'm done, my mother will love this. Violet was glad everyone was working so hard, but that wasn't helping her. What could she do for her own mother? Without arms or legs or teeth, she couldn't make anything like the other animals. Never before had Violet felt it was hard being a snake, but she felt that way now. As Mother's Day approached, Violet got sadder and sadder. The other animals were finishing up their gifts and Violet still hadn't started hers. It wasn't fair. It wasn't fair at all. She practiced and practiced her present in secret. It was a tricky business, but slowly she made progress. On the morning of Mother's Day, all the animals were ready with their presents. Violet was ready too. Happy Mother's Day, shouted Violet. Oh my, said her mother. What a nice surprise. It's perfect, Violet. Absolutely perfect. Violet was very happy. Even without arms or legs or teeth, she had shown her mother just how she felt. And her mother felt that same way too. Happy Mother's Day. I hope you enjoyed today's story. Until next time, Nana Pam is sending you big hugs. Have a great day.